Hey everybody, it's Dr. Rahimi here. Today we're going to be talking about auricular nerve blocks. Here we have an ear and I can either inject directly like I'm going to do here and stab it several times with a needle. And it's going to hurt quite a bit. Or I can just stab him several times with a needle everywhere, and really get him numbed up. Quickly go over the relevant anatomy here. As you can see, the most important players there. And here is the innervation with the nerves. Please pause for more information if you need to read. And here is a schematic showing the diamond we're going to make, the four injections around the ear to numb up the entire ear. And then we can do anything we want and really manipulate and get this ear back together great. So here's another overlying schematic. Doesn't matter which part of the diamond your first injection is on, but mine is right here to show you. That's number one. We're going to go injection number two. And as you notice, this is behind the ear. Here's injection number three. And finally, to close out my diamond, injection number four. It's better to show you here how we're doing the injection. So behind the ear, we said, not into the ear or into the cartilage. And as I go in, I'm going to withdraw and dump all my meds in there, my lidocaine. Remember, we're using lidocaine without epi in the ear because it's cartilaginous and it has very little vasculature, so we don't want to cause any necrosis here. All right, so lido without epi. Usually about half a cc to one cc per side is fine using a 27 gauge needle. And I inject my meds as I withdraw. Now I can stab him as many times as I want. Look at that. He doesn't feel a thing. He is numb with a great auricular nerve block. All right, we are ready to go. I'm going to throw in two simple interrupted sutures here and close it off, and he's going to be happy. Remember, you can do this for a hematoma, drainage, you know, for your UFC fighters, your MMA fighters, your boxers, obviously trauma, lacerations, those things. Nerve blocks are such a good and a good procedure to have under your purview, especially in the emergency room as an emergency room physician. It helps with pain control and doesn't mess up the tissue as you're trying to suture everything back. And overall, great patient experience usually with it. Great repair job here.